Need a deal? More and more discount websites are popping up, offering crazy savings on everything from local restaurants to boat talks. A different coupon featured every day, from Groupon to Muncheroo, Living, Social, and Charitable Coupons.com. All these sites often focus on local businesses. But with deals so cheap, is it worth it for the businesses behind the coupons? Our own bargain addict, <laughs> Lindsay Shively, we love her, went yes. to find out from the business owners themselves so we don't waste our money. Lindsay, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, take a look at this. A great example of why these actually are working. Nestled in Brookside, the shops on the quiet corner of 59th and Homes enjoying the charming Brookside neighborhood. But customer traffic doesn't just happen there. It's kind of out of the way, so they have to work for it. Two shops there open less than a year did just that. Indian restaurant Chai Chai opened seven months ago out of necessity. When Bosca Tufal and her two brothers all lost their jobs, they decided to chase a dream, open up a business to sell their mother's samosas, an Indian specialty they say she's been making the best of for decades. Now, their business was doing okay, but since offering coupons on two of these different discount sites, business is booming. The owners admit the deep discounts, though, are at first a bit to swallow. You do lose some money on, on doing it on the front end, but really you don't because you get these customers who will be repeat customers. You get kind of free publicity, and um, I mean, it's exactly what a small business needs. I am one of those coupon buyers, went there, have been back several times. Each time I go back, they are busier and busier, so it's obviously working. Lindsay Shively, NBC Action News Today.